What's up, friends? I'm so white. Because we haven't seen sun in I'm like, like pink. eight months. Welcome to our brand new cooking show, which is not a cooking show at all. It's a baking show. Because if there's one thing that we, one of many, one of no, not many things. Well, if there's one thing we did more of in quarantine, it was bake. I mean, Matt did most of the baking. I did a lot of the eating. So since we can't really travel right now, we thought we would go on a bit of an imaginary trip to Germany today. And what are we gonna make? Pretzels that are semi-authentic. Mm -mm. A little bit German. Are they at least German? Pretzels? German inspired. German inspired. This is pretzels. authentic Warsteiner beer, though. Straight from the liquor store in Canada. Yeah, down the street. First thing we're gonna do is the yeast. Yeah, we have one and a half cups of warm water at about 100, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna add two and a half teaspoons of dry active yeast. Give it a little whisk. And then we'll let this sit for about 10 minutes to let it get all puffy. Now we're on to the flour step. Four cups of flour. We'll put the recipe in the description. We watched a lot of baking shows. I think we know what we're doing at oh, this yeah. point. Wait, waiting for that yeast. Just like waiting for yeast to proof. Uh -huh. See, now it makes sense of why you opened your beer earlier. 10 minutes later. Yeast has proofed for like 10 minutes. It's nice and foamy on top. Mm. So that means it's working. So we are just going to put in two teaspoons of sugar salt. Mix that in and then add our yeast. Yeast and water. Get yourself a stand mixer, because it makes everything easier. Stand mixer, dough hook, low speed. We're gonna mix in one and a half tablespoons of room temperature butter. Now, we're using the Earth Balance butter, since I don't have dairy. But Vegan butter. Vegan yeah. butter, but obviously you could use regular butter. And then just keep mixing. Keep on mixing. Five minutes later. How's it looking? Looking good. Mm, looking good. It's all mixed together now. So take mm -hmm. the dough, just make it into a nice little ball. Can I roll it on the ground? Yeah, or? roll it on the counter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, it just won't get be. get it all together into a it ball. It won't be perfect. Back in the bowl. All right. And then we'll cover it. Some plastic wrap. And we'll throw a towel over it as well, just to keep it all uh -huh. down. And we'll let this sit for 15 minutes. You've actually been to Oktoberfest. I've been to Munich twice. I've been up through the Rhone Valley and I've been to Leipzig. One of my favorite memories of being in Germany was visiting the beer halls. Like the number one thing that you would eat when you were at the beer halls was pretzels. And they were so delicious. They were, I've never had, like, I feel like that was actually the first time I had real authentic soft pretzels. All the other pretzels I had before that were like those hard crunchy ones that you kind of buy in like the chip aisle. Not real pretzels. That was my like first time trying real soft pretzels and they were so delicious. And then you'd pair it with like some mustard and you'd oh, yeah. usually get like a bratwurst or a, a sausage of some, some sort. Some beer. And some sauerkraut. Oh. So good. So, so where good. were you? Were you were in Munich for Oktoberfest, weren't you? Yes, I was in Munich for Oktoberfest, and I got to experience the huge beer halls of Oktoberfest, and it was so much fun. So much fun, guys. So I thought of Germany. What baked good do we want to do? Pretzels. Really? Also, you thought of it? Because I definitely thought of it. <laughs> and then also when I was in Leipzig, they had these amazing pretzel bagels. I hear that the Germans just love just pretzeling everything. Pretzel buns, pretzel bagels, pretzels for breakfast, lunch, Is buns that true? for dinner. You're from Germany, just let us know. 15 minutes later. Dough has finished resting. Let's get this off. Mm. I think I'm just gonna dictate from now on and drink. So we're going to dump that dough out mm. onto the countertop. Boom. Now we're gonna divide it into eight equal portions. 994 grams divided by eight. My microphone. 124.25 grams. You're welcome. You're doing a great job, by the way. Thank you. Just like cutting a pizza. Just like a pizza. Okay, so we have all of our dough portioned out. So we're just gonna like make a little ball. 
and then roll it. Roll it out just slightly. Like an elongated something like that. Kind of looks like a slug or like a pickle. Kind of like a big, a big pickle. You've done this before. Mm -hmm, thank you. I had such a great teacher. It's looking pretty pickly. All right, so now we'll cover that with a damper egg and let that sit for just five minutes while we go have another beer. Another beer? Yeah, I mean, we're in Germany. Five minutes later. Well, let's see. Now's the fun part. Grab yourself a pickle. Okay, so we're gonna roll this out and you want about a 20 inch string of dough and you want to kind of taper the ends so they get a little bit thinner towards the outside. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then to make the pretzel shape, you do like a U shape, cross the ends like so, give them another twist, and then bring it back and press the ends down. Beautiful pretzel shape. And we have a pretzel. And then once you've shaped your pretzel, just take it and drop it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. You have to push, you have to give it some force mm -hmm. when, you're put, when you're rolling. Get in there, all right. You cross. I feel like it's a little short. But It'll be a chubby little pretzel. That works. It's a it's a chubby pretzel. Yeah. And then I'll just put it on my. Actually, apparently the pros, they just like <laughs> and tie the pretzel like that. Well, you're not quite at pro level. That worked. But look cool. <laughs> Remember that pretzel we had in Milwaukee at Summerfest? Oh, that was the biggest pretzel I've ever seen in my life. I'm pretty sure we have a clip of it. We do, and we didn't finish it. No. It wasn't a very good pretzel. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. It was just a gigantic pretzel. It was just like the size of this countertop. Yeah. All right, Get some plastic wrap. Mm -hmm. And then these will go in the fridge for a half an hour. 30 minutes later. It's time for the science experiment part. So before you bake pretzels, traditionally they're dipped in a solution of lye and water. And that's what makes a pretzel like a pretzel. It gives it the flavor and it gives it that dark brown skin. The problem is. Lye is extremely caustic and it can be quite dangerous to use. Now you can use lye safely if you're super careful and you get the food grade stuff, but what most people do is they boil their pretzels in water with baking soda added to the water. Kind of trying to be like lye, but it's not, you don't really get the same results. So what we read on the internet and what we've <laughs> never tried before is you can bake your baking soda in the oven. Chemically changes. And it raises the pH. Could give us a pH of around 11, possibly. It's uh, a lot closer to lye than if you were to just use plain baking soda. But there yeah. is one other thing that we are gonna use though. I mean, while it's not nearly as dangerous as lye, we're just gonna use gloves, just as an added precaution. So we're gonna bring our water to almost a boil and then we're gonna add our baked baking soda to the water and then dip our pretzels in the water one at a time and boil them for 30 seconds per side. Now we're gonna salt them. And I just basically got a pastry brush, dipped it in a bit of water so that our salt hopefully stick to it because we were too slow with the boiling. The salt sticks better if the pretzels are still wet, like if you salt them just after bringing them out of the water. Mm -hmm. I'm using just a coarse salt, by the way. You gotta like drop them, drop the salt like this. I'm gonna get the, yeah. That's how you do it. Salt bay. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Okay, so now these are salted and they are ready to bake in the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, I'm ready for some pretzels. I knew I saved my Oktoberfest outfit for a reason and this was it. This is the reason. It's your big moment, right? It's my big moment. Saved this for like nine years. You still fit in it. Barely. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is not meant for a pregnant lady. Oh. They definitely got more brown this time compared to when I just did the baking soda. Mm -hmm. Like the not baked baking the soda. The not baked baking soda. Yeah, these are definitely looking very dark. 
So we'll let these cool for what, like five, 10 minutes or so? If they last that long, I don't know. Oh yeah. Little Dijon mustard. Little, what would you call that? Other type of mustard? Whole grain. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. It's got like just a bit of a crispy skin on the outside and then just nice and soft on the inside. Do you like the whole grain more? I like the Dijon. You can All also right. do like a cheese sauce if you want cheese. Oh, yeah, you could do a cheese sauce. If you're into that, but mustard. Mm. Oh, well, that was delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed our first baking show episode. If you did, let us know down below in the comments as well as what dishes or what bakes you'd like us to do from which countries. And maybe we'll do that in the next episode. And uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, hit that sub button, and we'll see you guys again soon. Bye. I just like the eating part, but. Mm. Yeah, the eating part's pretty good.